Welcome everyone to another edition of To Your Health, a program designed to bring you information on healthy living, featuring those who make a healthy lifestyle possible. I'm Fred Zucker coming to you from the campus of Parker University. This is a very special edition of To Your Health. It is the holiday edition. It is holiday time here in Dallas. And I was thinking about the uh, incredible stress associated with the, the holiday season trying to make sure everything is perfect, the perfect gifts, the perfect food, the perfect decorations, all the things that seem to make it even more stressful than usual. When it's supposed to be a time for family gathering and getting together and relaxing and remembering all the things that have made life so wonderful. So I thought that we would do something special for To Your Health and do a recitation of a great Christmas poem, perhaps one of the most famous poems in all of English literature, a Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore that first appeared in 1823. This poem is now better known by the first line, "'Twas the night before Christmas." This poem is just a, a, a wonderful compilation of all the things that make Christmas special, when in fact it's interesting to note that many of those were not really accepted as customary back in the time when it was first introduced in the 1800s. So Clement Clark Moore really began a, a tradition of Christmas that included a, a, an elf, St. Nicholas, St. Nick, that was really not that well known before the appearance of his poem. So there are things that he did that established Christmas in a very special way. Uh, for example, there are things about himself. He's an elf. The, the reindeer are tiny that he has that pull his sleigh. There are eight of them, and if you listen to the poem, you'll hear that the names of two of the that reindeer are German for the words thunder and lightning. I want you to try to pick out which ones those are. But you'll notice there are only eight. There is not a ninth reindeer named Rudolph. That comes much later in the program. I want to dedicate this, uh, this poem, this recitation, to my 10 beautiful grandchildren and to all the folks who are watching us, the Parker family, our friends and alumni, all those who, who watch To Your Health. We want to wish you the happiest and healthiest of holidays, the merriest of Christmases, and the very best of a new year. So now, without further ado, we're going to hear a recitation of A Visit from St. Nicholas. A Visit from St. Nicholas by Clement Clark Moore. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers, they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. 
a bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Thus ends Twas the Night Before Christmas, a visit from St. Nicholas. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope that you have a wonderful holiday and just a special new year. And we hope to see you again onto your health next year. Take care. Bye-bye.